What is up, what is up, what is up? FS Club Friday is finally here, guys. Hopefully, you guys all have an amazing day. We got some news to go over today, guys. If you haven't already done it, make sure you guys pin the comment section below hashtag FS Daily News. Let's get to that news. The first fact sheet for today, guys. Yes, it's fact sheet Friday. First fact sheet is the extra 732 foot uh, VCon mower. 21,200 required horsepower is 80. Uh, working with is 3.2 meters. Uh, working speed 13. You can also put the extra 7100 T on there. Really nice. And options on that is mower design. Next one we have is the extra 7100 T, the one we were just talking about. Uh, 47,500 required horsepower is 200. Uh, working with is 10.2. Uh, of course, you can put this extra 732 foot. And then mower design is the options on that one. And as you guys can see, it looks like it wind rose right to the middle too. So that's pretty cool. And then the last fact sheet for today, guys, is the, uh, let's see, Andex 1304 Pro Wind Rower. 52,500, required horsepower is 110, 12.5 uh, working meters, and of course, 11 miles an hour working speed. So really, really nice stuff. I cannot wait to this thing's out. Remember guys, it is out on June 16th. If you are on PC and interested in it, make sure you guys click the club's affiliate link in the description, guys. Okay, so that is Fact Sheet Friday. Also, there is a video with it too. It will be at the end of this video, so make sure you guys stay tuned in for that video, guys. Okay, here we go. Next one, guys, is from Custom Modding. Uh, he did a little bit update on the John Deere C850 Air Cart. Uh, now it's fully functional. I'm just waiting to finish the John Deere 1870 Air Hoe Drill for the official release. Uh, let's see stuff on there. New Firestorm Radio All Traction, the same as those offered by John Deere. Functional hoses, lights, animation tank covers really really nice stuff right here remember guys it is coming to pc and console pretty soon guys no release date though no release date okay next one mappers paradise and millennial farmer millennial farmer map sorry uh they had this to post yesterday it's very dangerous up here you know next time i'm putting a harness on and it looks like this is some of the silos at the millennial farmer map uh looks really good and i cannot wait for that Okay, let's get into, of course, the new mods that came out today, guys. There was quite a few of them. Really good ones, too. Okay, we got the Mossy Ferguson 8140. Lindner Unitrack Pack. That looks really good. Slovenian Countryside by White Bull Modding. Montana. Front Sign Lights. Brent Avalanche 1596 by JHHG Modding. Amazon ZA, KPS4, Pottinger Top 1252C S Line, Steel Construction Hall, Shed Spanish, Farmhouse, Slurry Shaft Package, Wooden Building. So that is all the new mods for today, guys. Also, we did get quite a few updates. We got an update to No Man's Land, the update tidying up planning schedule and reduced temp for cotton. I believe that is the geo for that one. Uh, then we also got an update to the service pickup pack. Change log on that, added engine config, added design config, improved handling, various tweaks. Then an update to the small wood selling station, change log on that. Fixed visibility of snow roof without seasons, uh, price of the wood selling trigger adjusted, fixed German mod name. Okay, next update, the MAN TGX tanker truck, uh, the change log on that, fixed vehicle fuel reload, added fill type configuration, added front grill. Then we also got an update to the John Deere 6x20 series, that change log, bug fixes, new wheel configuration, Michelin XM108 added, and new weight configurations. And then we also got an update to the Lizard VNB14, the update on that, wheel configuration, uh, wheel fixes, correction, sorry. And then another update, the MRF special low loader. Uh, they changed along on that. Fixed side, side marker lights. Arthur and manufacturer name changed. Description updated. Uh, texture slightly changed. Vehicle holding trigger adjusted. Optional vehicle holding trigger or tension belt support. Mod sec uh, version changed. New dirt rag uh, decals and new back decals. And then another update uh, for the PR PRT 10. This, this changed along on it. Added platform, added wheels. Minor fixes and improvements. And then also another update to the MZHT16. And this update, uh, manure system compatible, added tires, and minor fixes and improvements. And the last update is MMZ771B. Change along on that. Added to the marks from the wheels, 
and minor fixes and improvements. Lots of updates today, lots of updates, a lot of new mods. We're not done yet, guys. We also have that testing list. The testing list is back, so let's get to that testing list, guys. On the PC, we have Cowshed, CSZ Equipment Pack, John Deere 6M Large Frame, Cornell, Lizard S0432, Lizard Spider, Manure Cell Point, Mazovian Lowland, Mini Brun, Pack Lizard Modulo, and last but not least is Silo Facility. So that was the PC side. On PS4 and Xbox One, we have the CSZ Equipment Pack, Flatbed Trailer, Front Sign Lights, FSNT 12000, Fuel Storage, John Deere 6x20 Series Update, which was released, Man TGX Tanker Truck, which was just released, Montana, which was released, Shed Spanish, and last but not least, the Slurry Shaft Package, which I believe was just released. Number of mods waiting to be tested is 180 mods, guys. Current average work time is five work days. So that is all the news for today, guys. Let me know what you guys are excited about. Really good fact sheets, really good mods came out, good updates, really, really good stuff. Today, guys, what we have planned is, of course, we have Grasslands Map Tour, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that. And then, of course, tonight we do have a live stream on Sandy Bay. So hopefully you guys do stay tuned in for that. That will be at 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Okay, so remember, at the end of this video, guys, we'll, there will be a video on the fact sheet. So hopefully you guys do enjoy that. But anyways, guys, let's see if we can hit 100 likes on this premiere, guys. And if you're watching this after the premiere, let's try for 500 likes. But anyways, guys, if you haven't hit that like button, make sure you guys do pound it. If you have not subbed, make sure you guys do. Like always, have an all day, farmers. Peace.
Thank you.